Welcome to this UniLogic tutorial. UniLogic is the complete application development environment for our Unitronics Unistream control platform. Hello, my name is John Anastasides and I'm an applications engineer here at Unitronics. A popular protocol supported by the Unistream is File Transfer Protocol, better known as FTP. FTP is a client server protocol involving the transferring of various files. These files can range from data tables, sampler files, PDFs, and CSV files. The client will send data to and retrieve data from the server. The server may be a remote PC or another PLC in some cases. When using the Unistream for FTP, files will be stored on the controller's SD card. Now that we have a bit of background on FTP, let's take a look at Unilogic. In this video, a 7-inch Unistream will be configured as an FTP client. A PC FTP server program will run in the background. The Unistream will send files to and receive files from the PC server. In order to add an FTP client, first navigate in the Solution Explorer to PLC Communications. Select Protocols. Select FTP. Select FTP Clients. And add a new FTP client. When a new client is added, these are the subject fields that appear. Give the client a name, enter the username and the password, and define the server's IP address. In this case, my laptop's IP address is utilized as the server's IP address. These are parameters configured in the PC FTP server program. This information is required to gain access to the server and transfer files. When an FTP client is added, a struct is created for it. In the struct, a success bit, a fail bit, and a status integer are found. These tags can be used to monitor progress while transferring files. If a failure occurs, the status message can be used to troubleshoot the issue. An HMI display screen has been previously built in this video. The client source path, server destination path, server source path, and client destination path have been previously linked to four separate user-defined text boxes on the HMI. These tags are used to reference file locations on the SD card and server. The send file and receive file buttons will trigger the transfer of files. On the bottom right hand corner of the HMI display, the status message, success bit, and fail bit are used to monitor the progress during the transfer. Next, ladder will be used to trigger the send and receive FTP functions. Navigate to function 1 in the Solution Explorer. Navigate to the toolbox, select common FTP, and the send and receive commands are available. First, let's demonstrate an FTP send command. The send file button on the HMI will set the send file tag when pressed. A direct contact linked to the send file tag will trigger the FTP send command. Next, place an FTP send command in the ladder. and a reset coil to reset the send file button. When constructing the FTP send command, three parameters are required. Hovering over each input letter will provide parameter descriptions. For parameter A, an FTP client is required. Since only one is configured, this will be the only option available. For parameter B, link the client source path. As previously discussed, all file path tags have been linked to user-defined text boxes on the HMI display. The client source path will reference the file location on the SD card. For parameter C, link the server destination path. 
The server destination path will reference the location where the file will be sent to the FTP server. Next, let's demonstrate a receive command. The receive command will be used to request a file from the PC's FTP server. The receive file button on the HMI will set the receive file tag when pressed. A direct contact link to the receive file tag will trigger the FTP receive command. Then, place an FTP receive command in the ladder. And a reset coil to reset the receive file button. Similar to the FTP send command, the FTP receive command requires three parameters. Hovering over each parameter will provide a description for the required input. For parameter A, an FTP client is required. Again, since only one is configured, this will be the only option available. For parameter B, link the client destination path. As previously discussed, all file path tags have been linked to user-defined text boxes on the HMI display. The client destination path will reference where the received file is stored on the SD card. For parameter C, link the server source path. The server source path will reference the location where the file is found on the FTP server. The download was successful. A VNC viewer is open and displaying the Unistream's HMI on the left. Currently, it is showing the contents of the controller's SD card within UniApps. I have created a folder on the controller's SD card specifically for FTP communications called FTP. In this folder, I have created a file called send1.csv that I will use for this example. This is the file that we will send from the controller's SD card to the PC's FTP server. The FTP folder to the right has been defined in the PC's FTP server as the target folder for FTP communication in the directory. I have created a file in this folder called receive3.csv. This is the file that will be received from the PC's FTP server and stored on the controller's SD card. First, the FTP send command will be demonstrated. In this example, before triggering the send, the client source path and server destination path must be entered on the HMI. A forward slash is used to indicate the file directory within the target path. The file is located on the SD card's user logs folder. In the FTP folder, in the file name is send1.csv. Please note that the file path is case sensitive. The file extension must be included to keep the file in its original format. If not, it will default to a text file. Next, the server destination path must be defined. The PC's FTP server is set up to receive files on the desktop. Again, each path must begin with a forward slash to determine a new folder is being entered. Please note that it is possible to rename the file during transfer. The file will be stored within the desktop's FTP folder and the file name will be changed from send1 to send2.csv.
This feature allows the user to continuously save to a single file within the Unistream. The file can then be easily renamed when sending to a different location. When the send file button is triggered, the success bit goes high and send2.csv can be seen in the PC's FTP server folder. Similar to the send command, pass must be defined before triggering the receive file button. The controller will receive a previously created file called receive3.csv from the PC's FTP server. This file will be placed on the Unistream's SD card in the FTP folder. Again, the path is user logs. FTP and please note similar to sending files that the file name can be changed when receiving files as well we'll rename receive3 to receive4.csv When the receive file button is triggered, the success bit goes high, and to view the file that was received, enter UniApps. We now see that send1.csv and receive4.csv are located on the controller's SD card. This concludes the FTP client tutorial. There are many uses for FTP on the Unistream whether it be receiving important information from a hard to reach server or simply freeing SD card space on a client controller. If you are interested in FTP servers, please view the FTP server video. I hope this information helps with your future programming and thank you for watching.